Welcome to your Morning Minute here on Cowboys Wire. On Sunday, the Cowboys are going to attempt to go 3-1 and one in the young season. The same record that they started with in 2014 and the same point when teams started to realize the Cowboys were the real deal. That year, the big surprise was the running game. Nobody saw that coming. This year, the surprise is Dak Prescott and nobody saw him coming either. The Cowboys have a chance to show that Dak Prescott is not only a better quarterback than the poo-poo platter that they sent out there last year, but that he affects the game to the point, uh, along with the offensive line in the running game, that the team will not be handcuffed by an extended Des Bryant injury. We're hearing whispers that Bryant could be out up to three weeks, which would take him to the bye. Last year, the offense kind of pitter-pattered after they lost both Romo and Des Bryant, but I don't think that's going to be the case this season. The offense, uh, we know what Ezekiel Elliott's doing. They put eight men in the box. He's run it 15 times, 73 yards, almost five yards a carry. That's insane production against eight men in the box on a high, uh, high efficiency level. So let's see what happens. Possibly... Bryce Butler is ready to step up for Des Bryant. Last year when he got extended snaps, he injured himself, and it was a watch for him as well. So we'll be on the lookout for how this team adapts to these injuries. It's basically the same scenario that they were in 2015, just with brand new personnel. They swapped out Elliot, uh, McFadden for Elliott, and they've uh, swapped out uh, the poo-poo platter of quarterbacks for Dak Prescott. So let's see how it works out. This is your Morning Minute here on Cowboys Wire, and I'm KD Drummond. Salute.